in this video I will show how to connect an 18650 to a TP4056 to charge your battery this is a TP4056 border which is 5 volts 1 amp it will charge one of these batteries the TP46 has a micro USB connection which means you could connect any phone charger to it or it has an input here input plus input minus you could either connect some pins like this to it and uh, battery plus but no that's battery plus battery minus that point here would go to the battery and if you need to take power from the battery you would connect it here that's output whatever you want to um, power up you would connect it to the output the battery would remain connected but you would connect another lead to the output if you need if you using this board for both charging and powering up some other unit i will show how to connect this in this video With that said, let's jump into it. I could either put this on that here to keep it steady. I would use this, but you could also use some holders you could also use these holders to charge the battery or this one but if you have to get holders get this type of holders with the pins here and uh, this is more firm it's more secure when i ordered i ordered these holders which i cut down here i had these on a project which i took out and i'm modifying the project i'd still be using them but this is not strong enough the wire is too thin when you're dangling with it, it comes out and the positive end would only work for button top batteries, not flat top. You would have to modify it or put something in here or drop some solder there so for it to work with both flat top and button top batteries. And you cannot give that too much heat, it melts. Or another way you can do it is take this out, put a nut and bolt here, connect your wire onto that, and tighten it with a bolt. That's one way you can 
modify that but i wouldn't advise you all to get this this is more secure you could slide in your your battery this way but since this is new that's kind of tight you would have to get something to pry it out now because of the tightness what you could do is squeeze that down a bit on both sides so it would make it easier to put in the battery and take it out this is not if you're buying batteries this is not a good buy that's some cheap chinese fake and it's a 42 this they claim it to be 42 milliamp hours this is not that good but if you have to get batteries you could get these these are much better than that that is just a waste of money that might come with a flashlight or or something of the sort anyway uh, that's going too far let's do this i'm using some batteries some magnets i put on a uh alligator clip or something i rig up you put plus here and you put minus here and you take your cable and you just plug it in here now if you notice the red light comes on that means the battery is charging when it's fully charged you notice it's the light goes green I think you can see the light yeah so that is how you will connect this to charge a battery your Now you could either use that or you can rig up something like this if you're not using one of your wall chargers you could rig up something like this these um the output and the the output plus and the battery plus these two are connected together these down here the minus is separate if you find this video was helpful and informative please like comment 
subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos. I'll put a link to this TP4056 in the description if you're interested. If you click on my link and buy, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you. Bye and thank you until the next one. Better let go, uh, you decide if you're ever gonna let me know, yeah, suicide.